So week two was a disappointing week, but also pretty promising. Okay, so the, the biggest thing of week two is that I did not get as much done as I wanted to. I managed to get just over two hours done this week, which is on one hand bad, but also a po I can actually take that as a positive. So the way I view it as a positive is this is probably the, the, the busiest week that I'll have for a while. I had a lot of hours at work this week, so I didn't have an, a lot of time to actually get much study done. But conversely, I did manage to study every single day. One of my biggest aims from last week was actually to get more study done than I did last week. And I actually only managed about half of that. Which is, again, not ideal, but I'm still happy that I managed to study every single day. So I feel this week, because there wasn't actually a lot of time spent, it was more solidifying what I learned in week one. So covered, recovered the things that I'd gone over in Duolingo, and also recovered and introduced a bit more from Link, and actually Anki went a lot better this week than, than last. Last week with Anki, because it was, I, I tried to introduce too many new words per day, so that was probably my first mistake. Um, but this week I managed to actually uh, catch up with my words, and now I'm on track. So hopefully going into week three, I can start introducing new, uh, more new words, because I actually had to cut down new words to zero and then just focus on studying the ones that I introduced in week one. I think my pronunciation is improving. And uh, next week I'll do a bit more, I'll try and uh, work in a self-introduction and a bit more Spanish into, uh, from next week. So introductions to the video, outros. I'll try and just add a little bit more of me actually speaking. I know that a lot of people focus on speaking when learning a language. Even though it does take some time, it's usually what people consider kind of a sign of actually using the language. So even though early stages it's a lot easier to develop comprehension, I, I know it's usually a, a lot of people use that as kind of the indicator. So I guess I need to start doing that for myself as well. Not just for my own development in terms of production, but also to show you that there is improvement and I can actually use the language to some capacity. So I'm looking forward to that. It's a bit scary. It's always it's always intimidating to, especially on camera or to other people, uh, to actually start using a language you're not very comfortable with. But it's, it's a stage of uh, development. It's a stage of actually being able to grow in confidence, really. Because at some point you have to use the language in front of people. You may feel, fit, uh, feel silly at first, but it's kind of a necessary evil to actually develop. So look forward to me sounding a bit silly, but also, yeah. It's, it, it's for my own good and hopefully it will also encourage you and actually demonstrate to you that I can actually do something with it. But week two, like I said, not a lot going on, just a bit of bolstering what I've already learned. I do feel improvement, so it's I'm getting a bit more of a grasp of things. I can I can recall what I learned before, especially I, I went back and rewatched the study with me from week one and even though at the time it was it was a struggle everything in that kind of video is pretty much down now saying that i probably still will make mistakes because there's still a lot more, a lot of new inf information coming in but i'll say my reading comprehension has markedly improved i can now go through basic sentence structure um, at least um, from the early lessons on Link, relatively straightforwardly. Uh, I can string some basic sentences together. Um, but yeah, week three will definitely push that a lot further. So if you look at week one's graph, I actually used multiple resources sometimes on one day. This week, I only managed to do one per day. I started the week quite slowly, but by the end of the week, I was doing, well, mid, mid to the end of the week, I was doing a bit more. So yeah, ho hopefully a sign of uh, good things to come. But yeah, it's just, th this is kind of a, a factor that you have to incorporate and have to consider when learning a language. There will be times where you don't have a lot of time. Um, for me, 
it's no excuse for me to do absolutely nothing. So I had I wanted to at least do the bare minimum. So if that's five minutes, if you've got five minutes, do the five minutes. If you stop, as soon as you start stopping, it's easy to make excuses for yourself. So I wanted to make sure I kept up the consistency and yeah, I, I, I now feel as though it's part of my daily routine. It's pretty normal now. It doesn't really feel like a chore. It's actually, it's actually a lot of fun, to be honest. Um, the learning process is fun and also hopefully things will start sticking and I can start using the language. So a positive thing is actually I did gain a few more subscribers this week and the brilliant thing about that is actually the comments that I've been getting and they're kind of the comments that I was aiming to receive in a sense. Uh, people were looking for something a bit more realistic, a bit more tangible and it, it not really kind of a sales pitch. So I'm happy that kind of I'm getting the, the, the message across that I wanted to portray. But yeah, like hopefully you'll enjoy this series and hopefully you can get something from this as, as well as myself. So thank you for the support and hope you guys enjoy the subsequent videos. Thank you for watching. Adios y buenas noches.